Good morning everyone, it is about 7 o'clock on a beautiful Friday morning and in this video we're going to be looking at the hospital that me and some of my friends are working at in Cambodia for a medical elective. First things first, I'm going to have a shower or get changed into my scrubs. I'll see you on the other side. Alright, so here we are. Time to head down. It's about a 10 minute walk. Let's go. So I'm at the Children's Surgical Center in Phnom Penh. It's a pretty incredible place, really. They do consultations and operations for everyone, not just children, and everything is completely free of charge. Patients from all over Cambodia and even neighboring countries like Thailand and Laos rock up, they get seen free of charge um, and might get an operation. Each morning we have the morning meeting uh, where all the staff sit in a room and the patients come to us one at a time. Uh, and the doctors discuss what operation they're going to do and look at the x-rays and look at the notes And it's quite nice because at the end of the morning meeting they have like about half an hour of, of presentations uh, So the local staff and visiting doctors uh, and even medical students like us We do PowerPoint presentations where we teach a, a topic of our choice so that everyone improves their medical knowledge After the morning meeting that's when we go to the operating room This is the operating room. It's pretty nice. You'll see that there are actually four operations that can happen at the same time in one operating room. Uh, this is probably not quite as aseptic or hygienic maybe, but it's a really good use of resources. You can use the same equipment for different operations. It's much more sociable as well than, than it is in the UK. Over here it feels a lot more collaborative, people sort of walking between operations. And, and for us to be able to see operations and go from one to the other to the other, that's pretty nice as well. Upstairs there's an ophthalmology area where people come to have their eyes tested and to get cataracts operations and that sort of thing. It's a pretty incredible operation that they seem to run here. It seems like every week, every other week, there are visiting surgeons from abroad uh, who come to lend their expertise and the cool thing about that is that instead of just coming in and doing operations their visits are more aimed at teaching the local staff so that ultimately this can be a sustainable project where the local the, the local doctors the local surgeons are the ones doing most of the operating at the moment there's a hand surgeon team from hong kong uh, who are here for a week uh, and they seem pretty nice and in our first week there was a team from france uh, which had a plastic surgeon an orthopedic surgeon and they did really cool operations and they threw a big party for us at the end one of the really interesting things about csc is that it's funded a lot through voluntary donations from individuals so there's this website called whatc where every single patient that comes through csc has their story uh, put up on the website so you can see their name their face you can read about them you can read about the family and the website tells you how much each operation costs and somehow people from all over the world donate to individual operations to individual patients and each month CSC gets money from these individual donations without which it probably wouldn't be able to operate at the level that it currently does. So I'll put a link in the description below if you want to have a look at some of the patients that CSC operates on and if you like you can donate a few pounds uh, and maybe help save a life. For the last few weeks we've been involved in this cataract project with the ophthalmology department. Sadly this involves going through about 600 patients notes so Ben and I have been spending a few hours each day working through these patients and just like inputting all the data into the computer and hopefully something will come out of it in the end. On the plus side I've discovered that I can actually watch Netflix while doing it which is pretty nice but now it's lunchtime so let's head down and see what's on offer in the cafeteria. So this is what this place looks like from the outside. Um, as you can see there are a lot of people, a lot of motorbikes and really big cars as well. And we're on our way to lunch. So let's see what's going on. That was a very close call. Right, so that's a good day's work done at the hospital. Time to head home and we'll see how Ben's doing. He's been a bit poorly recently. And then I think I want a motorbike into town, go to a camera shop, get a decent microphone for this thing. See you in a bit.